Hello and welcome back to another Tableau Tip Tuesday, the series where we shine a light on some of Tableau's more obscure capabilities. From beginner to expert, doesn't matter for this series, so join us every week to learn some of those hidden gems that take your skills to a new level. Today we're going to be covering how to format our labels in a couple of different scenarios here, so let's go ahead and get to work. First, we're going to be exploring here. We have a bar chart with the labels at the end. And now, unfortunately, if I go into my label button and play around with my alignment, you'll see that we only have three options. The left align, center align, and the right align here is outside the uh, limits of the bar chart here. So our goal here is to move this label to the end of the bar, but on the inside. So we'll go ahead and clear out our label here. We're going to duplicate sales on our column shelf here and right click to go dual axis. Now we can have one of our marks types as bar and we'll set the other one here to be a Gantt chart. So now when we put sales onto our label button here and go into that button and align it to be left aligned, you can see that it is centered very nicely on the end of that bar chart right there. Now, if we wanted to, we could right click the sales field and format that to maybe be currency Maybe we'll take the decimals down and display units as thousands, and we have a nice looking label there. All right, another option here. We have a quick discrete month sales chart right here, and my only goal here is to try and get this month that displays along the bottom of my chart to be up towards the top. So to accomplish that, we go into our analysis menu. Sounds a little tricky, but I guarantee you it's not. We're gonna go to table layout, advanced, we're going to deselect this checkbox here, show innermost level at bottom of view when there is a vertical axis. So we'll deselect that, we'll press OK, and there we go, we have some nice dates up along the top right there. Now again, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and format those dates to be any date type that we would like right here. Maybe we just want the three letter abbreviation. And once again, we're starting to get a slick looking chart here. All right, that's all we have for you guys today. Join us next week for another tip.